there are so many red flags in this COVID affair that it almost hurts your eyes. There's a big thing at stake, the health of our citizens. Many of them have decided to be repeatedly vaccinated against COVID based on the information they received from their government and doctors. They assumed that they had made a well-informed choice and have an informed consent. But informed consent is only possible when the information spread by the member states and its authorities regard these vaccines. It's regarding these vaccines is correct. When misinformation is spread by the governments of our member states, doctors can't give good advice and people can't make a good choice whether they want to be vaccinated or not. One of the major considerations for people whether or not to take a vaccine is the possible risks and side effects. Ima mentioned in its letter to us, they expect, I quote, reports of conditions occurring at, at or soon after vaccination, end quote. This implies that data on adverse events or side effects within 14 days of vaccinations are, the utmo of, are of the utmost importance to assess the risks related to the vaccines. However, member state officials adopted the policy that as it would take 10 to 14 days for the vaccine to produce spike proteins, adverse events within 14 days after vaccination were not to be registered as related to the vaccination. Statistically, they considered the person who got the vaccine as not vaccinated within those first 14 days. What a nonsense. Government policies and also governmental med media campaigns to promote COVID vaccinations are thus leaving out the risks and side effects that might occur in those first 14 days. Most allergic reactions occur within 20 minutes to two hours after getting into contact with the allergen. Side effects of regular vaccines our children get normally occur within one to two days. But yet, somehow, they just invented this 14 days story to create this fake feeling of security and reducing the amounts of registered side effects. And that's my impression. They did it because they knew from the reports of Pfizer and Moderna and so on that many and severe side effects will come. Where are the governmental policies then based on? How can doctors correctly advise their patients whether or not to take the vaccines? How can a citizen who is thinking about vaccination then assess for himself the safety of the COVID vaccines? How can there then be a truly informed choice and thus a valid consent when this crucial information is not shared? And why did the EMA not intervene? How can they upheld the market authorization when there is no accurate registration of the risks? 